Okay, it is so cold. So I'm underneath a blanket and I'm gonna watch last night's um, Boardwalk Empire, but that's not why I'm getting on here. Making a quick video because I had some questions about the husband. So I should tell you guys, I don't know if I'm gonna make this into one video or two or what, but I'd, I'll just go ahead and like tell. Um, when I came out here in Nebraska, uh, let's just say I'm, I was no angel. Like I, I came out here with a boy. Um, he got sent to Offutt, which is the Air Force Base here. So I transferred schools to be with him. And, uh, unfortunately, you know, he really just was not honoring me and treating me the way that he should have been treating me. And I didn't have it in here yet to really think about, you know, making sure a guy was putting a ring on my finger. I, I just wasn't there yet, you know. Um, and things, I, I, you know, I don't want to like demonize him or anything, go, up, go into details, but let's just say he did some things that just made being with him not possible. So I um, moved out, I got my own apartment. And in that time frame, I had already met my husband. He was going to college. And so my husband grew up on a farm in Glenwood, Iowa, and was homeschooled. He has seven siblings, six, seven, there's seven of them, so six siblings. And they're like stair steps. <laughs> like, I think the oldest is 28, and the youngest is... Five or six? Six. The youngest is six. Um, and uh, they homeschool. They are farmers. They farm uh, corn and soybeans and also a little bit of popcorn. So it's like, ah, you know. Um, my husband, he had never like gone to school before. So when he went to college, um, there were a lot of experiences happening at him very fast. Um, he had never dated before. He had never even kissed a girl before. And it's so weird that like he went after me because I was so different than anything at all that he'd ever experienced. Because first of all, you know, I'm the girl with the piercings, the tattoos, um, <laughs> and I had like purple hair. Uh, I, I, I know, I just have a thing for ghetto fabulous colors. Like I love bright colors. Um, right now I'm like just sporting like a, a two. Is it a two or is it a one B? I'm just sporting like a dark, dark hair right now. But I normally have some kind of highlight in there, or something. I, ain't, I even still have a little bit of pink actually. Where, did my pink fall out? No, no, it's there. Okay, so my husband, he had explained. After I broke up with the ex-boyfriend, I had my own place for a while. Um, by the way, I didn't have a car out here, and like, and I'm from LA, so I was used to there being buses, <laughs> you know, take. So he started giving me rides to school, and sometimes, and like, he started taking me to his church. And one day, after church, um, we got invited to a bapti baptismal at his family's lake. They, they own a lake and like their church used to do their baptisms there. And um, we were driving, we were driving to, you know, down to the lake and he was saying that, you know, I had a really long talk with my dad last night about really uh, my future and, you know, my place in the family and this and that. And I thought, oh, okay. And my husband, you, you guys will eventually see him. He's so prim and proper. Like he's, like it's just, <laughs> He, he's such like a nerd it's, it's really cute but um so he says Jesse Ray I really do feel like the Lord is telling me that I should court you uh, with a marriage mindset I don't want to waste your time if I don't feel like you're the person that God has for me to marry but um I'm just really feeling felt by the Lord that I'm I'm meant to court you now I had never experienced anything like that. Like, I I think I may have dated one white boy in high school, but, like, not, no, oh, two, two white boys in high school, but not for very long, you know? So I was like, oh, you know? <laughs> you know? And um, 
my first instinct was like, oh, crazy white boy, I ran away. But he got me. I he got me. And um we got married. <laughs> it all happened like really fast. Like one, two, three, four. Like we were engaged like seven months later, seven or eight months later. <gasps> Isn't that insane? Like I, I look back on it, I think, oh my god, it's so crazy. And a couple years into the marriage, we got Roderick first, and um, then Frederick. Um, oh, I should probably explain that. We host foreign exchange students. So um, our oldest foreign exchange student, Roderick, he's now, he'll be 19 next month. And um, he's from the Netherlands. <laughs> And the next student we actually got was a boy named Ryan, but he really, we weren't really the best fit. He w ended up going to another family that was more um, to his liking. Un unfortunately for him, I guess he wasn't to their liking and he got sent home. But, um, so then the next kid we had was Frederick. And Frederick was like the complete opposite of Roderick. And he is 17. And he's from Denmark. And those are my two boys. Like, you have no idea how damn spoiled I had those kids. This is the first year now since we started hosting kids that I don't actually have any kids. Although that's not entirely true because, um, <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Roderick just went home recently. Um, he came back to visit for the summer and spent some time with me. And now he's back home, but, um, uh, when I say that's not exactly true, it's because they both had the same group of friends who sort of kind of made that room upstairs into their own. Like, I guess we're now like the den parents to a group of like the bad kids at the local high school. <laughs> so like, you know, sometimes I'll come home and the house is already full of teenage boys playing Xbox downstairs. <laughs> But I have to tell you, I, I love it. Um, it's kind of lonely sometimes, to tell you the truth. Uh, one of them was, like, legitly living here. Like, he still has keys, but now he's 19 and he wanted to get his own apartment. So he just got moved into a new apartment about a week and a half ago. So, aww. that was Matthew. You guys will meet Matthew. That's that's my other baby. I'll say he's, like, the other host's son. My mom is so in love with Matthew. Like she wanted to move him down to where she moved and have him be in my room and so he could be her baby <laughs> so um matthew i love you <laughs> but i thought i'd just like tell people about my family because people were like asking like what do you mean you got big ass boys and what do you mean little monsters well by little monsters, I mean big ass teenage monsters who are like in the 17 to 1920 age range that all went to school with either Roderick or Frederick and have just kind of stuck around. <laughs> so um, that's my family situation. Me, the husband, the cat, and uh, the misfits. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll let you know more bit by bit, or however it happens. Ah, bye.